Hey guys, it's me Stace. Today I want to share with you my design team project for Mimi Made It. Today we're making this really fun box. It measures two by three. Open that up and then we have the inside there. Perfect for nail polish, chapstick, lipstick, trinkets, or treats. All right, so the first thing you want to need is a piece of cardstock for the base of your box. This one here I made red. Today we're going to do this on black. This measures four by nine. And you want to bring in your trimmer to do some scoring. So on the four inch side, we're going to line this up at the one inch mark. So one inch there. And then score. Then we're going to scoot on down to three. So on the four inch side, again, it's one inch and three inch. We're going to open this up. So now we're on the nine inch side and we're going to score it again at one inch. And go down to four lined up, go down to five, and then our last one will be at eight. So one, four, five, eight on this one. All right, we can close the trimmer up. We're done with that. Now go ahead and take your bone folder and give all your square marks a nice crease. What's nice about this size box, it's really cute when it's assembled but you can also make two of them from one sheet of cardstock. Love that. So it's a really good box to mass produce. All right, one more score mark there. Did I get them all? No, I missed one. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna take our scissors on this size. We're gonna go ahead and cut on all these score marks to create a little tabs. So there's a tab there, this one here, another tab, and then on this side, do the same for this one. Cut on the score marks to create the tabs. All right, now what I like to do is trim my tabs a little bit. So I have a tab here, go ahead and cut a little piece off the sides. This just makes putting the box together a little bit easier, less bulk. I love making boxes. Like I said, this is a really fun box to make because you're able to make two of them, like I mentioned, out of one piece of cardstock. But it's a cute little size too. You know, oftentimes boxes are too big and we're struggling with how to fill them or what to fill them with. This is great for a few pieces of candy, said nail polish or um, chapstick, a few little trinkets. All right, we made our mess. Let's go ahead and push all that out of the way. So we have this here. I'm gonna take my two center tabs and apply glue to that. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. take that and attach it to one side of the box. It doesn't really matter which end. Okay, that one's attached. Let's grab this one here and line that up with the side. Make sure you give it a good press. And we're going to take these two tabs and attach those as well. I kind of bend this one out of my way. Let's put glue on this tab and that tab. attach those. Again, give it a good squish. Do this one as well. Good squish, especially on the edges. All right, we're going to set that aside for a minute. The stamps that we're using is Trixie's Valentine, a really fun one if you guys are a dog lover. We're going to use this little guy here, the heart, the paw print, and the greeting that says, I'm just wild about you. We already have my paper cut. So you want two pieces. These measure two and three quarter by one and three quarter. Then we need two pieces. These measure, actually this is wrong. This is two and three quarter by three and a quarter. Then we have this one here. This is two and three quarter by one and three quarter. Then these ones are one and three quarter by three quarter. I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper and do some stamping on all these guys. I'm using the little paw print 
first. So I have that on my block. We're going to grab the black ink and just stamp our little paw prints all over these. Okay, set that one aside. If I'm wrong on the measurements, I will put it in the screen where I always put the measurements at. I might have been wrong on those. Just make sure you rotate your stamp or your paper so you're not creating a pattern. And our last one right here. These are for the size of our box. If you want to, you can of course use a pattern paper that you like. I just love making my own paper because nobody else has it but me. All right, got those done. Let's grab our piece here for the top of the box and also the inside. And I think for this one, I'm gonna stamp the hearts. I'm gonna grab my red ink. See on this one, I did the paw prints. I also did paw prints on the inside. But I'm gonna do the hearts on this one. Whoops. And again, I'm just kind of stamping them randomly. Okay, and maybe another one right here. And a little piece right there. And there. Okay, I kind of messed that one up, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right, now we have the other piece here. We're gonna stamp the dog. Again, we're gonna go in that black ink. I'm gonna stamp him on a little bit of an angle so he fits on there. And we have the greeting that says, I'm just wild about you. Okay, we're gonna stamp that up toward the top. I'm gonna to grab that red again with the hearts on it to kind of bring the wild about you part there. Oops, I kind of missed that. Let me see if I can line it back up. There we go. And right here. All right, so that is done. I do want to color my little dog. I'm using the Spectrum Noir markers, and this is the color, what is this color? Um, sandstone. You can, of course, leave him all white. You can color him with any marker you like or colored pencils. A real quick color on them. Go around his eye. Another fun idea, you can always put a googly eye on your dog. Okay, so we are done. Let's go ahead now and assemble the rest of our box. So we have this piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and put our top on. Here, we're getting that lined up straight and all that good stuff or crooked if you like so our side panels and the other one That was two and three quarter by one and three quarter. Okay, let's get this one here on the front tab. I like that. Whoops, scoot that guy back over. Kind of got away from me. All right, now this is the lid, the front of the box. I do want to kind of cut a notch out of there. I'm going to use a circle punch. This is three quarter inches. Any size you have is fine. Put that there to create a little finger notch. Now we're gonna go in and put glue on these two little tabs here to finish off our box. Fold that over there. Give it a good pinch. Fold this one over there. And again, give that a really good pinch. Right now we have this back piece. Okay, 
Okay, and that's going to go back here. Okay, and just go ahead and close your box up. Isn't that super cute? It's so easy, and you, have a little, you can see there we have a little finger notch. Oh, we forgot the paper on the inside, our hearts. So it brings the red from the outside to the inside. Super, super cute. Isn't that fun? You can always attach it or keep it closed with twine if you want to. But there's the red one and the black one. I'm kind of gearing toward the black. Leave me a comment below if you'd like the red box or the black box better. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.